Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. Welcome back to Vlogmas. And today we are talking about something that is a part of every Christmas for us. Yeah. An important part of every Christmas. Today, we are talking all about stockings. We're gonna go through our stockings. We are gonna give some his and her gift ideas, yeah. tell you why we buy certain things for each other. Yes. And more importantly, I get to open gifts. <laughs> <laughs> which you guys know is my favorite. So today, our Vlogmas video is all about stockings. Stockings can be something that's just sort of like a, almost like throwaway part of Christmas, mm -hmm. which is just like something to fill and just throw things in that don't really mean anything. Um, we have sort of taken a little bit of a different tactic mm -hmm. when it comes to stockings um, in two different ways. One, we try to make things meaningful yeah um and and also kind of put things in here that maybe wouldn't make sense as a gift on its own mm -hmm. um but he also uses it to cheat here's how i cheat because <laughs> we here okay well first of all rude um second of all i'm just saying second of all we sometimes have a gift budget but to me i'm always like well stockings are outside of, it's not a gift it's a stocking and so like stockings are outside of that. So let's say I buy Sherry like a giant gift. It's like way too much money. I'm like, oh, that's part of your stocking. And you're just like, it's a pony. I'm like, that's a stocking pony. It's part of your stocking. And so stockings, Christmas pro tip. The worst. <laughs> or that's what he'll put like jewelry or something that's like obviously like more than the budget yeah. in and of itself. Um, he'll put that in the stocking. He's like, it doesn't count as a stocking gift. I, I've done Cheats. that. Cheats. Cheats. Ah, ah. It's, it's a gray area. So, we'll just say that. The last few years, I have also started to do that as well. It's rude. Um, so, <laughs> but as Sherry mentioned, I do think the stockings can be, you can just like fill it, just go to the candy aisle, stuff it with candy. Which um, we've done. Which we've for sure done. Yeah. But we've really tried to have our stocking, have things in our stockings that we feel like, I don't know, would mean something or gifts that we would want to give to the other person. Yes. So, I think we do a pretty good job every year. I think so. I don't feel like either of us, like, I don't feel like I do a great stocking, you do a terrible stocking, or the other way around. Mm -hmm. I feel like we do a good job. I think so, yeah. So, just so you guys know, um, we are doing stockings differently this year because these legit, like... These are actual, like... These are our actual stockings this year. We're opening our stockings right now. <laughs> That's right. So, it's like, we're, <laughs> we're opening our stockings right now. Like, these are our stockings. So, we right. went shopping and got our st ourselves stuff, st or got stocking stuff for each other, mm -hmm. just like we normally would. Right. Um, however, we're going to talk at the end. There are some things that are not in our stockings that right. will become Christmas. Right. Um, so, Sherry. Yes. How should we do this? Um, I think we can just sort of open our, like each piece and then just kind of talk, you can talk about things you put in mine and I'll okay. talk about things you, I put in yours. So the first question I have is, do you wrap things that go in stockings? I usually do. Usually, so they're not wrapped for the purpose he of this video. Not. I don't, I just like stuff everything in there. <laughs> um, so these are not wrapped for the purpose of the video. Again, Christmas morning, Here's why I honestly, why I usually wrap things. Why? Because you cheat. What? And because once they're full, we have them sitting next to our fireplace and not hanging anymore. True. And you will just look through it. Yeah, I absolutely will. So if things will. are wrapped, <laughs> I can't do you don't there. know what it is. Yeah, I guilty. I, I am good. And if it's sitting over there, I will leave it over there until Christmas morning. I'm the worst. Not this one. I, I am. I'm so I wrap everything in his stocking, knowing that he's going to go through it. Because I'll like stand over a stocking and like look in there and be like, hmm, hmm. Let me just uh, take a little peek season there. <laughs> I do that. Guilty. He does that. All right. Let's go. Okay. Go ahead. So, okay. The first thing I put in Sherry's stocking. This is something that has to be in my stocking every year. I think this is the only <laughs> thing um, in the entire stocking that has to be in there every year. Yes, and this is something that I had growing up, and it was in almost all of my stockings, and I love it. And it's the Lifesavers, um, and this is specifically the gummies. I like the gummies better than just, like, the hard candies, but honestly, either one. But it's, like, it has, like, the little, I don't know, there's little games, and there's little things, and then there's the candy inside. Because it's I, the whole thing. I remember a conversation early in our marriage, maybe even before we were married, where we talked about Christmas stockings, like what you would have had in them growing up. And you talked about how, how many of you guys remember this, that these little lifesavers used to be like the lifesavers, like storybooks. Yeah. Right? Where it would like open up in like a little story or something mm -hmm. inside. And it says it's still that, but it's not really. It's, it's just, just little just games this. and stuff. So every single Christmas, one of the things that is in Sherry's stocking 
uh, is the the dummy lifesaver storybook. Yeah. It's a tradition. Yes. Tradition. All right, <laughs> my turn. Next. Oh yeah. We definitely put some candy in there. A stocking yeah. has to have some candy. It has to have some candy. We just don't believe it should be all candy. Right, and we usually try to get specifically things you can't or don't usually get the rest of the year. Yeah. Like these. I got Reese's Pieces. You got, oh, interest. Wow, interesting that the one that you got. <laughs> this is what they had at the store. I'm sorry. However... I happen to know what's in the rest of the stocking because we did this together and yep. you have a lot more candy. Yay! All right. Saying. Next thing uh, that is in stocking. Why don't you go ahead, pull it out. Fuzzy socks. Okay. So when I'm buying stockings for Sherry, this is, let's talk a little bit about gifts. And this goes back to, I think, a podcast we did, maybe a video we did about being a good gift giver. Mm -hmm. One of the things I think of, I think in order to be a good gift giver, the number one thing you have to do is you have to know the person you're buying for. Yes. So when I go shopping for Sherry for a stocking or for other gifts, I think, okay, what do I know to be true about Sherry? And one of the things that I know to be true about Sherry is that she loves, 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 especially this time of year, cold in Alaska, being cozy, being warm, yeah. that kind of stuff. So cozy gifts for Sherry are... Always, always a hit. Always a hit. And so like... Uh, fuzzy unicorn socks? <laughs> like, that's a win. Yep. Correct? Uh, I will love them. Thanks. I kind of want to wear them right now. All right. Now, well, let's wake up the video <laughs> to change our footwear. Well. Um, <laughs> next thing in my stocking is a sticker. Yeah. And not just look at this. It's a good hearty sticker. Look at this sticker. Alaska, mm -hmm. last frontier. Mm -hmm. I love stickers. They go on my laptops. They go on my water bottles. They go on pretty much anywhere I can stick a sticker. Any good surface. Yep. And so a sticker, I love that in there. Yep. What do you got next? Yeah, Another sticker. This one says, you are my midnight sunshine. Get it? Because Alaska is the land of the midnight sun. Okay. You are my midnight sunshine. Okay. So we're each, each sticker people. Yep. Go ahead. You next. Okay. <laughs> Th let me explain. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. goes back to knowing your person. One of the things that I know, and most of us know, is that right now, Sherry Beth is doing the curly girl method. Working on it. One of the things that I have learned, because I don't have hair, <laughs> and so I have learned during Sherry's curly girl journey that you have a ton of hair ties that yeah. you've used for years when your hair was straight. Like these guys. Like those kind of things. Mm -hmm. But those are not good for your hair. They're not great for hair. And when you're doing the curly girl method. Right. Scrunchies. Because they go too tight and they like can break your hair. Had no idea. Mm -hmm. However, scrunchies are great. Yeah. And when buying things for Sherry, especially like scrunchies are things you're going to wear. There are certain colors you need to stay in <laughs> and certain colors you need to stay away from. Yeah. So I would not have bought Sherry a scrunchie pack that had like red in there right. or yellow in there. Yep. And so for me, this was a home run. Scrunchies because she's doing the curly girl method. Do you like them? I do, yeah. And like they're pretty. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Next. next for me. Next for me. <laughs> the Apple Air Tag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. I love this. I know. I have wanted one of these <laughs> since Apple released them. Um, this. It, okay, so this is one of those things that's like more expensive mm -hmm. this than is, like. These are. This is a cheat. Uh, Thirty dollars. Thirty or like. Thirty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. I think. I don't remember. Um, but so it's a little bit more expensive than like. This could have been like a gift under the tree by itself. Right, but yeah. like this under the tree is so small. And so I just feel like this is a good stocking stuffer. It's a great gift. It's something that I've wanted yep. 100% uh, to track my stuff. So I don't have any air tags, but now I do. Now you do. Make sure there that. you go. What you got? Okay, I take <laughs> it back. I said this was the only thing that is always in her stocking. That's not true. Sherry Beth loves chapstick but this is the kind of chapstick she likes the most there's specific kinds of chapstick and especially in the winter yep. when it's so dry chapped 
chat and I need the medicated. Yep. So medicated so, chapstick. Always in, in my stocking. I was gonna say always in your stocking. Yep. Because you always use it. Because I always use it. I'm reaching into my magical bag of tricks and pulling out two things. <laughs> my other candies. Yeah. Okay, so one thing that you are really good at okay. is you do not like Almond Joys. I sure don't. It's one of your 13 flaws. She only has 13 flaws in all of the world. Right. One of them is she doesn't love no, Almond I Joy. Don't, I don't like coconut. Um, but you're really good at getting these for me. Yeah. Because so I know that you love them. I love them, and I don't normally get them. Uh, Snickers, yeah. probably my all-time favorite candy bar. Yeah, Almond Joy is not something we ever have in, like, a candy bowl or something in our house. No. Because I won't ever eat them. And so... And I will only ever eat them. <laughs> so that's not good either. Right, right. So thank you for my candies. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe. Okay. I did pack things in there, like, because... I kind of like jam things in there. It's a travel nail kit, which so, is one of the things I asked for specifically. This was on her Christmas list this year. Yes, because I always travel with a nail kit, but I always have to, like I have one and I keep in my purse, um, but I can't travel, like I can't keep that in my purse or my carry-on because it has, you know, sharp weapons. And so I can't actually just travel with it. So I always, have to remember to take it out of my purse and like pack it in my bag and so I wanted something that I could just keep in like my toiletry bag that I just travel with all the time that I keep packed. There you go. There you go. Check, Check. off the list. Very Next for that. me, this also something that is on my Christmas list. Yes. So Christmas obviously falls during the winter in Alaska. What? I know some of them may what? not have known that. Um, and if you didn't know winter in Alaska sucks sucks <laughs> it's, it's just cold, cold. <laughs> and uh and so i okay i'm i have a pair of giant like uber winter mittens like warm that right? i'll wear if we're like going outside to do something for a long time mm -hmm. but when i'm going just to like i'm going to drive i'm going to drive to the office i'm going to run some errands i don't have just a pair of like gloves that i can just outside to like scrape off my car before i leave for exactly Penny. i don't have just a pair of gloves i can toss on there like just lightweight gloves to, but so that i can keep all my my digits right but and, warm but warm and so one of the things that was on my list this year was lightweight good gloves and I have to say, finding gloves that fit your, it's one of the your problems. ginormous Hagrid hands. Okay, rude. Is difficult. Like it's not just your like... size. Your hands are the same size as mine. <laughs> is that not? Do you guys see this? Is that, um, is that this not? Is, not, this is, is not that not normal. true? <laughs> um, but like literally, I can wear any sized mittens or gloves, like from kid up to adult. That's true. Adult is usually a little too big, but they obviously fit my hands. But they do, they just don't fit you but and look so at that. we found gloves that actually fit your hands columbia and you were gloves like, i love them and you were whining about the price but i was like listen these gloves were forty dollars they were forty dollars forty dollars but here and here's what i told him i would rather spend forty dollars on a pair of gloves that you will wear than to keep spending 10 or 15 dollars on gloves that you wear once and you're like no i don't like these no i don't like these because we have 17 of those it's hard to argue with that you're a very logical person. Mm -hmm. What do you got next? Okay. <laughs> this was also on my Christmas list. Sherry has a, Sherry, first of all, Sherry loves her Apple Watch. I do. It came with a white band. Right. Which I I don't mind, but it's always dirty. Mm -hmm. um, and I I don't, like, I, I feel like I'm always cleaning it because it just always looks dirty. Yep. And it drives me crazy. So, so I wanted something that was a little bit of a darker color that I could actually just wear and not feel like I have to clean it all the time. This is one of the, this is another gift giving stocking stuff or pro tip, uh, is to be listening throughout the year. Uh, you mentioned several, several months ago about your Apple Watch band getting dirty easily and loving the Apple Watch, but not necessarily loving the white band. Right. And so it's one of those things where it's like, all right, mental note, or I actually have a note, I have a list of notes, a note in my phone yeah. that is just like Sherry gifts. <laughs> and so as she says something that like pops in my yeah, mind, I'm like, oh, that could be like a good, that could be a good gift. Mm -hmm. I just add it in there. Right. Things like an Apple Watch band. And look how pretty this is. And it matches your hair. So, sort of. Ring light. Doing a great job. I know. Okay. Next in my stocking, <laughs> I already know what this is. 
and I'm so excited. And you guys might be like, why in the world are you so excited for gigantic wool socks? <laughs> For the same reason I'm excited about my gloves. We live in Alaska live and it's in a really freezing. Cold place. And I have a lot of good socks, but I only have really one pair of just like mm -hmm. thick, it's really cold, need really good socks. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things on my list this year was like a pair of thick, thick extreme cold wool socks. These are thick, extreme cold. Literally. It literally says extreme cold. It literally cold. says 13 inch mid calf extreme cold with nillet heat. I don't know what that means. But they're, they look Apparently warm. Apparently it's a selling they point. They feel warm. They're oh, they're really like, nice they're thick. super thick, super squishy. So love, love, love this. <laughs> also, I do want to say, um, this goes back to like stockings really being, I mean, $40, $15. I think this was like $30. And so, like stockings for us really are like, we consider this like part of, we do try to have these be like gifts. Yes. And not just like Which is also why I wrap them because they are actually gifts. But I just, I don't know, but like a pair of socks, just like one pair of socks wrapped up under the tree just seems weird, I guess, to me. It doesn't seem weird to me. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like this is more of a stocking. Literally. It is literally more of a stocking. That is that is true. You are correct. Literally a stocking. Also, Gracious I have huge feet. Can we talk a second about like how, like which is bigger, <laughs> my actual sock. Sorry, just go to your next gift. Okay, this is so. Go ahead. Do I, I was going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I'm proud of is that I feel like I am intentional about knowing your routines whether it's makeup routines or like mm -hmm. you know what i mean all of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff and so i know for example i feel like i'm gonna just pull out one more thing in here because i know it's gonna be it's at the very bottom of your stocking because it I almost it always is yeah so <laughs> these are the makeup cleaning wipes these you are always also use. almost always in my stocking those are almost always in your stocking they're only at the foot of the stocking mm -hmm. uh the elf daily hydrating moisturizer um what i use on my face so what you use on your face every you, day you also use the makeup forever smoky extravagance Mascara. Mm -hmm, so see, it's like, for me, I know the products that Sherry goes to mm -hmm. and I can, any year, if those are included in your stocking or if they're included in your birthday or if they're just like a, you know what, I was at the mall and I went by Sephora and I was thinking of you and so I got you some Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagance. Like, knowing... <laughs> That's the mascara that I use. <laughs> knowing you mm -hmm. and the products you use makes it easy for me to get you things that I know you will appreciate. Yes, and that I will for sure always use. Yeah. Like the Neutrogena makeup remover. This is what I use to remove my makeup yeah. every day. Because guys, I want to talk, men, let's have a conversation. There are a million makeup products out there. There are a million daily hydrating moisturizers. There are a million mascaras out there. Your lady friend probably has one. She probably has a preference. She has one, her go-to. If you walk in and you try to wing it, you're gonna screw it up. Ask her or pay attention when she's applying these things. Yes, find out the things that mm -hmm. she already knows, already loves. For him, it's pretty easy because these are literally sitting on my dresser in our bedroom at all times yeah. because I use them all the time. every single day. Yep, okay. Yeah. Next. Ooh, it's one of my favorite wrappers, <laughs> Ice Cube. <laughs> no, um, gum, I am a, I am a gum chewer and I love to have gum in the Jeep. Uh, I love to have gum just kind of with me at all times. So thank you. Yeah. Gum, some type of gum is normally in my stocking. Yeah, well, and I like the cup kind of thing because um, it's easier to close. It doesn't get smashed like the, the cardboard ones. True. I think that there's just two things left in my stocking and I think that they're the same thing. That I have in mine? You have in your so shall, I'm gonna go through a couple more things in my stocking. Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> we also like to have fun with our stockings. Oh, sure. You guys know, if you watch this channel with any frequency. Especially on the lives. Especially on live streams, on Instagram, particularly. Yeah. I am a fidgeter. What? Uh, shocking, I know. I always want to have something in my hand. I always want to be playing with something. I and just it usually is something that he needs to not be playing with, like scissors. Like, he'll just sit here and, like, <laughs> it's and true. I'm just like. 
Because you like, not. I just, you I'm have a, broken so many of my little clips that I happen to have on the table. Little hair clips? Uh -huh. So many. And so I need something <laughs> in my hands to be playing with and fidgeting with. And so as we were thinking like, well, what's a fun stocking thing for me? It's like, oh, like we know that I like to fidget. It drives you insane. Let's find something that I can fidget with that is quiet. So found this and now I can fidget with the wrapper and that won't bother shit. No? No. Okay. I mean, it's a little bit gross sounding. <laughs> it actually is very gross sounding. But like, but it's quieter it's, than a wrapper. It's not gonna break like my hair clips that well, I've I, broken thousands of. You. Okay, well, if you're gentle with it and you just sort of, okay. And so I need he something. Needs something. I need something in my hand to like fidget with. And honestly, even just like having this in my hand and just like doing this like during a live stream makes me feel so much better. Right, and we, we've we discussed like the fidget spinners or like those little cubes, but they make noise and they click and they clack and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. I need you to not make noise. So, this will help me. There you go. Thanks. You're I welcome. got one more thing in the bottom. Oh, yes you do. Now, I have a question before I pull this out. Uh -huh. Because this part of the stocking is pretty precious real estate. Mm -hmm. Growing up, I think you and I used to always have the same thing. An orange. An orange. How many yeah. of you guys, I want to know in the comments below right now, how many of you always had an orange? Always had an orange. And I feel like we did that the first several years that we were married. And then we were like, we were having to like specifically go to the store and buy a single orange. Two oranges. And I was just like, this is, this seems dumb. And I do want to say what is in my stocking is better than an orange. <laughs> it's a mini brand. If you followed our channel at all this year, you know that 2021, one of the things that this year has it was been- the year of the mini it brands. It was the year of the mini brands. I needed an addiction and gosh darn it, this was it. I'm so excited. Honestly, I just snorted. Did you hear that? I sure did. I just... Sure did. <laughs> Honestly, as soon as we're done. Okay, first of all, can you not <laughs> mock me? It is Vlogmas, the Lord's Holiday. Just and you're mocking me. <laughs> it's the Lord's Holiday, I think. Um, if Jesus had a YouTube channel, he would do Vlogmas. Okay, all right. Do you not think so? I don't think so either. <laughs> um, and I guarantee as soon as we're done filming this video, he's opening that. I'm going to go live on Instagram oh, boy. and open this. All right. Okay. So the last two things that we have are, it's just a fun thing to put in your stockings. It's a fun thing to put in stockings and um, it's relatively new, but I think that it needs to just be a yearly thing. You ready? Here on out. Little shooters of something that a liquor that we each like. So each of these have a meaning. Each of these have a meaning. Tell about yours. Um, okay, so we were at a liquor store here in town and they had like an advent calendar. A of Crown Royal Crown advent calendar. Royal. <laughs> and they had, um, I think six different kinds of- Crown Royal. Crown Royal. And that's right. Different flavors um, times two. So there were like 12 different ones to try. Um, and one of the, my favorites that was in there was the Regal Apple. Um, I did not know that I was a whiskey fan. <laughs> yeah. Until we started going through that little calendar thing. And I was like, I'm a whiskey fan. And this was your favorite of all And of this was one of the favorites. Yeah. Um, and so I'm very excited. So mine, so good. that Sherry got me, is Fireball. Not because I'm in college, because <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> but when we were on our Disney cruise recently, the viewer cruise, mm -hmm. at uh, the, what the tasting was it? The martini, martini tasting? tasting? At the martini tasting, mm -hmm. we started with a shot uh -huh. that was Fireball and a rum chata, and it tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It sure did. Which and is my favorite cereal. Right, and we almost always have <laughs> rum chata in the house. Oh, rum chata is a staple in the leg household. Let's sure. be very honest. And so I was just sort of thinking, we can get the fireball. We already have rum chata, and we can we can recreate the yumminess that was that shot. You know what I love about including these is that this is a great way to bring the Christmas spirits to your stocking. The Christmas. Spirit. Since we bought these in the store, I've been wanting to say that joke. Oh. And I had to fight myself so many times in the car, be like, don't tell the Christmas spirits joke. <laughs> don't tell the Christmas spirits joke. Because I wanted to save it for this video. I'm so happy. 
<laughs> I'm so happy. You so you guys, person. that is what our stockings look like this year. Um, yep. This is a pretty normal kind of like stocking haul for us. Yep, I feel like you usually have a little more candy than I do. Uh-huh, that's true. But you're a bigger fan of candy. That's very, I'm a sweets person. You're a sweets person. And so um, I, I think that you usually have a little bit more candy. Yep. But I do feel like we have tried to not have just candy, so. Yep, because, nor well, here's the thing. One of the, we have so we have shooters. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. We usually have some sort of Apple product and we have yeah. you know, that kind of. We that have kind some of kind of like comfy, cozy stuff. Yeah. There are a couple things that we will still add to these. Yes. Um, stockings are normally where we include any gift cards we get for each other. Yes. Uh, we don't like wrap those up as separate gifts and put them under the tree. Right. Uh, so if I get Sherry, normally I get Sherry like a coffee gift card. And like a Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble gift card. So mm -hmm. gift cards also will go in yeah, stockings. Yeah, I usually get him coffee mm -hmm. um, at you know his either Starbucks or like his favorite um, local place. Yep. Um, that kind of stuff. Like we'll usually include some kind of gift card. Yep. So there'll be, there'll probably be some other little fillers that make it yeah. into our stockings I this Christmas. I have a few other things I want to put in your stocking. Ooh, like what? Okay. Um, and so these are what we do. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? A favorite thing that was in my stocking? This is also something we usually do on Christmas morning. Once we open our stocking, uh, we're like, do you have a favorite item? Um, uh, I, I think, oh gosh, either my gloves or my, or the air tag. I've always, ever since they released the air tag, I've wanted to try this. So I'm excited to try this. But honestly, like maybe the glove, because of what you said, that gloves for me are so hard to find a good glove. They are. Yeah. And, and I so, feel like we have so many pairs of gloves for you that you wear once or twice here and it's like, eh. Because I'm, I'm has Like they're too bulky or they're not bulky enough or they're whatever. Because I'm terrible at wanting to spend money on myself. And so a pair of like $40 thin gloves feels excessive to me. Right, so you're and just so, keep getting like the $10 ones. And so I'm like, well, I'll buy this pair of like cheap gloves and they end up being terrible and not working at all. Right. And the thing is like, you know, again, my hands are baby hands. And so like the little gloves that are, you know, five pairs for a dollar. <laughs> I go through those like crazy, but I wear them um, just because they fit my hands. But mm -hmm. you need good gloves. I do. So I said what my favorite was. I what are two. your, you have two favorites? My socks because hello unicorns and hearts and they're mm -hmm. fuzzy and they're, I'm so excited. And then my your watch band. Yeah, my watch band. I'm really excited for this. It's a, such a pretty color. It's kind of like a mauve kind of color. And or I'm just or pu purple for all of the rest of us. Okay, mom is more of a beak. Um, but it, I just I just feel like I have to clean my band all the time, and even now you can see like yeah. it's just like dirty. So well, good. I'm excited. Christmas, also, the shooters. <laughs> Christmas spirits. Christmas. Christmas spirits. spirits, friends. That is what we do for stockings. I hope this gave you some ideas uh, on things you could include in the stockings for your loved ones. Again, yeah. my biggest pro tip when it comes to being a good gift giver, a good stocking stuffer, is to like know your person. Know like, your person. Know, know the th things that they want or yep. need, things that they use, use. on a daily basis. Um, and I don't, and I know some people are just like, I would never, it's like buying a vacuum for your person. Um, partly sure but wouldn't you use it but also i literally use these every single day and so i don't feel like this is just like a ugh, great not me more face moisturizer because i literally use it all the time it's true and so now i have a backup and <laughs> when i run out i don't have to be like oh, crap i need to go buy some today also it's fun to include things in your stocking just simply to make them that smile serve no purpose that, that you will enjoy thoroughly Christmas spirits. Friends, we love you guys so much. Thanks for being a part of our Leg Life community. Thanks for following along on Vlogmas. Let us know in the comments below what was your favorite item of everything that was in here. Also, do you have your own traditions for your stockings? And did you grow up with an orange in your stocking? <laughs> That's what I want to know. And is there a reason for this? Because I feel like there's some sort of like historical reason that there's an orange in stockings. I don't know what it is. It was just something we always did. I think the Orange Growers Association of America just had a great marketing guy one year <laughs> and like he started a tradition and then has been collecting commission checks since then. For the people that buy one and two oranges. <laughs> Good for you, Orange Grower guy. <laughs> All right, friends, we love you. We'll see you on the next Vlogmas video and the next Like Life video. Mm -hmm.